Sagittarius, you need to know this right now for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Sagittarius. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together, or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. <clears throat> so, Sag, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone, I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Now you can tell me that there's some type of travel for your abundance, maybe for work or business here. However, Sag, you can tell me, hey, Let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones, because I don't want to be single. Or said, you're telling me, hey, I want to be single, so I'm moving out, moving on, moving away from the relationship. Said, you have the page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Sag, listen, you can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. 
But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new passionate beginnings. So Sag, listen, you could have the spark of a new idea, could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're trying to manifest having this conversation with this person, some type of heated discussion or argument, Sag. Now Sag, you could also tell me that you're wanting to start a passionate new beginning with this person. Okay, and maybe you're looking into them because you're maybe wanting to start new here. You don't want to be single or sad. You can tell me that you went looking and spying and discovered that they started a passionate new beginning somewhere. And so you're trying to manifest initiating something of your own, whether this is starting a passionate new beginning or just leaving the situation. Sad, you have the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Sag, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Sag, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now, you can tell me I want to move forward with our soulmate connection because I no longer want to be single. Or, Sag, there's some type of travel in the works here, maybe for a partnership with work or business, some type of an agreement here, maybe traveling for the coins. Sag, you have the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So, Sag, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Sag, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So some type of news about commitment, Sag. Now, maybe we're wanting to go into commitment here because we don't want to be single. Or Sag, this is about becoming single and ending the commitment. Sag, you have the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Sag, listen, you could tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles. Okay. Flying cards. Clarify the five of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Sag, could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. 
Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. It is clarified with you, Sag, temperance. The universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. But Sag, this is you. Clarify temperance for Sagittarius. Clarify temperance for Sagittarius. What about Sag? What about Sag? Clarify temperance for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Sag, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Now, Sag... Are you breaking up and starting something new with someone else? Or Sag, is this a money thing here? And maybe some type of travel or relocation for work or business for this blessing. Sag, you need to know this right now for February the 21st through February the 22nd, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.